are you? This is Julia Cook and Kirby Derby Doodle coming to you live Facebook. I don't even know where to look on these things. So if I'm looking kind of strange, it's because I have no idea what I'm doing. But we are all here today to start bookends. We're going to read Wilma Jean, The Worry Machine. Wilma Jean. Last Friday, I didn't want to get out of bed because I didn't want to go to school, so I pretended to be asleep. I think I had the worry flu. Every morning when I wake up, I feel just fine. But then, my tongue gets salty, my throat gets tied, I grit my teeth because nothing feels right. My stomach feels like it's tied up in a knot. My knees lock up and my face feels hot. Worry, 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 you know what I mean. I'm Wilma Jean the Worry Machine. On Friday, I was worried about spelling because we had a spelling test. What if I forget how to spell? What if everyone finishes before me? I worried about math. What if I get picked to do a problem up on the board in front of everyone? What if the kids make fun of my hair again? What if I get the problem wrong? What if they write about it in the school newspaper? I worried about school lunch. What if we have buttered carrots and the lunch ladies make me eat them? I can't stand buttered carrots. Get up, Wilma Jean, my mom said. It's time to get ready for school. I know you're not asleep because you're making that pickle face, the one you make when you're worried about something. If you don't stop worrying so much, you're going to make yourself sick again. Too late, I thought to myself. By the time I got to school, I felt like I'd swallowed an elephant playing the banjo. Luckily, I didn't forget how to spell. I didn't get picked in math, and for lunch, we had buttered corn. I love buttered corn. Then I started to think about my afternoon. What if Aberdeen has another orthodontist appointment after lunch? Who will I play with at recess? What if I get picked last for a team in PE? What if they write about that in the school newspaper? What if I'm so busy getting all my homework together after school that I miss the bus and I have to walk home and it's snowing and I don't have my boots? What if my after school snack is tapioca pudding? I can't stand tapioca pudding. Wilma Jean, honey, the lunch lady said, finish your corn. You're going to miss recess. And what's wrong with your face? You look like you just bit down on a sour pickle. When I walked out onto the playground, I saw Aberdeen right away. Her orthodontist appointment was after school. In PE, Reggie Beck got chosen to be the team captain, and he's had a crush on me for years, so he picked me first. I made it to the bus after school in plenty of time, and when I got home, my mom gave me butterscotch pudding for my snack. I love butterscotch pudding. I looked across the room, and as soon as I saw Aberdeen's birthday present sitting on the counter, <gasps> my tongue got salty, my throat got tight. I gripped my teeth because nothing felt right. My stomach felt like it was tied up in a knot. My knees locked up and my face got hot. Well, Majid, you're making the pickle face again. What are you worried about now, my mom asked. I can't go to Aberdeen's birthday skating party tomorrow afternoon. Why? You love skating and you love Aberdeen because what if I get there late and everybody's already skating and they run out of skates? And, and what if I forget how to skate and I wipe out and everybody laughs at me? And what if they write about that in the town newspaper? 
And what if Aberdeen is so busy with all her other friends that she doesn't have time to skate with me? And then I have to skate all by myself? And, and, and what if, what if, what if, what if? Well, Majid, if you don't stop worrying so much, you're going to make yourself sick again. Now I'm starting to really worry about you. My mom made the pickle face just like me. Then she picked up the phone and called my doctor, my principal, my school counselor, my teacher, my accordion instructor, the mayor of our town, and the governor of our state. Well, not really the last two. When she finally hung up the phone, her pickle face went away. The next day, my mom made sure that I was the first one at Aberdeen's birthday skating party, so I had my choice of skates. I only wiped out once, and I don't think anyone noticed. And everyone at the party talked to me, and we all skated together, so I never felt left out. I had the best time ever. The rest of my weekend was great, and I didn't have to make the pickle face once. But on Monday morning, my pickle face came back. Don't worry, Wilma Jean, my mom said. From now on, things are going to be different. My mom drove me to school early so we could have a special meeting with my teacher. Wilma Jean, you seem to worry a lot about things. Everybody worries about things, and worrying a little bit is a good thing most of the time. But when you worry so much that it keeps you from doing the things you want to do, we need to figure out a way to help you. I want you to tell me everything you're worried about at school, and I'm going to write each word you have down on a note cord card. Well, I said, I always worry when we take a test. I'm just afraid that I won't do my best. I'm always scared that I'll run out of time, even though you say, oh, you'll be just fine. I worry about doing my math on the board. I might get it wrong and get a bad score. Then all the things, all the kids won't think that I'm smart, and I won't get a smiley on the smiley math chart. I worry about lunch and what they will serve. If they serve buttered carrots, I know I will hurl. I worry that kids will make fun of my hair. I try to fix it, but it goes everywhere. I worry about having friends to play with outside. Last time the girls left me, and that made me cry. I worry about missing the bus at the end of the day. I worry about the naughty kids and the things that they say. I worry about worrying so much, because that's all I do. I worry I'll always have the bad worry flu. Oh, and I worry about the weather, too. My teacher wrote and wrote and wrote. Then she drew a big line across the board. On top of the line, she wrote the words, worries I can control. On the bottom, she wrote, worries I cannot control. Then she had me stick all my worries on the board where I thought they belonged. Well, Majin, I know just what to do. I can help you get rid of your bad worry flu. The things that you worry about are easy to fix. Just let me use some of my great teacher tricks. When we take tests, I will be sure to give you just a little bit of extra time if you need it. If you're going to be picked for a math problem on the board, I'm going to give you your problem the night before so that you can practice doing it at home. I'm going to make sure that you have the lunch menu each week so you can bring a sack lunch on buttered carrot days. My sister is a hairstylist. She's coming to our class Thursday for career day to teach everyone how to make their hair look better. We can set up some fun recess group games and contests and even do a lunch bunch so that playing outside with others will be easier for you. I can help you stay organized throughout the day so when the bell rings, you're going to have plenty of time to catch the bus. I can help you control all of these worries 
Well, except for the weather. Nobody can control the weather. For that one, we need the worry hat. Put the worry hat on and think about all your worries and then think them into the hat. Turn the hat upside down and it will hold your worries for you. Then if you ever want or need to get them back, you can put the hat back on and think them back into your head. I let my teacher try out all of her tricks. Believe it or not, I was easy to fix. She taught me how to be more in control. I feel a lot better because now I just know what to do with my worries when they're inside my head. Now I'll never let worrying keep me in bed. From now on when I worry, I'll know just what to do to keep from making, to keep from getting that bad worry flu. And hopefully I won't have to make that pickle face as much. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's Wilma Jean the Worry Machine. And we do have a lot to worry about right now, but we need to do it in a smart way. So I have an activity for you, and I want you to think about doing this. Make a list of everything that you worry about and put it on this paper, put it on a piece of paper. It could be anything, anything that's bugging you or that's making you a little nervous or scared. And then take another piece of paper and I want you to draw a circle on it. Then I want you to take your list and look at it. And the things that you can control, you get to write those in the circle. But the things that you have no control over, they don't get to be in your circle. They don't get to be in your hula hoop. See, I did it for you, because I have a list of worries too. Make a list of all your worries. Here's my list. Bad weather, because sometimes, like, like right now, I'm stuck halfway between Nebraska and Utah trying to get home, my, my hometown, to see my mom. And we got snowed in. Writing deadlines. Sometimes people want books on time and, and I don't want to give them anything that's not A number one. So I, I have this pressure and this worry that I'm, I'm going to write something that's not good enough or that it's not going to meet a deadline. And that just really worries me a lot. Being on time. I was thinking, what if I oversleep and, in this hotel room and I'm not here on Facebook Live on time? So that was a real worry. And the other one is seeing my friends and my family right now. That's really hard to do. And I'm really worried about them. Then I took my list and I only wrote the things that I can control inside. I can't control the bad weather, guys. And I can't control right now not seeing my friends and my family and all of you. I can't control, control that but I can control my writing deadlines and working on those things. And, and I can control being on time. I set four alarms, four baby, that's a lot. So try that. And then, um, you know, t parents and teachers and counselors, on TPT right now, there's three more ideas for anxiety that you can use with kids. All of my books are available at Amazon and they're also if you want them personalized to your child you can order them on juliacookonline.com and I will autograph and sign and personalize every book that comes through my website juliacookonline.com and then later on in a few minutes I'm going to post for grown-ups a couple tips on dealing with anxiety with your child and talking to them about them let me find my curvy dog here she is She's going to be ready to sign off. She's not worried about anything, you guys. She has her dress and her happy bones. And, you know, gosh, it's kind of nice to be able to hug her and feel a little better. All right. So this is Friday. Wait till Monday. We're going to read the booger. We're going to have a lot of time. 9 a.m. Monday morning. See you then. Have a really good weekend. I love you all. Bye.